Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley challenges criticism leveled by intellectuals about last Sunday's PNM conference, saying their commentary and opinions ought to elevate the national narrative. Instead, what you get is misrepresentation, John Foolery, and downright incompetence. Some have taken issue with the government appointing a committee to conduct constitution reform consultations. And a lecturer from the university is going to try to encourage a conversation saying that because the opposition was not engaged in the appointment of that committee, it should go nowhere. Dr. Rowley says some want to conveniently label it a PNM exercise, but it was the opposition, he says, which chose to not participate. Dr. Rowley says it is impossible to have a conversation about the constitution without the PNM's involvement. The PNM that one is the government, two is the most experienced political entity in the country, and three, as government, if the PNM does not drive this engine, it does not leave the station. He urges the public to dismiss the nonsense published over the past 24 hours and stick to the facts. But what galls me is the people who are supposed to lead the national conversation, like those who chose to come in today and start off by saying, I don't know, but. I didn't listen to it, but. Well, if you couldn't be bothered, if you are a lecturer in the university and your job paid by taxpayers is to teach politics and you couldn't be bothered to find out what the PNM is saying and doing in convention, then you should be fired from the university. The PNM political leader explained what his party did at the convention was to pass a motion to give their general counsel a PNM position to put forward as they go into their November conference. The educators are saying, well, those PNM positions cannot be what the country has to follow because that is dictatorship. We never said we're pushing that down anybody's throat. Other people at the conference may have completely divergent views. But what's going to happen there at the conference, we will all know what we support and what we don't support. Rishi Tawari, Rupa Ryan, TV6 News.